what is up everybody and welcome back to another Tekka tutorial in today's tutorial we'll be going over the last and final piece we need to have a full quantum suit which is the quantum boots you may want to pause the video here in a quick second put your grocery list together once you have it unpause the video and we'll be ready to roll alright so assuming you put your grocery list together and we're ready to roll First things first, we need to make a Lapatron crystal, but before we can do that, we need to make electric circuits. The crafting grid over in the left hand corner, you can reference that if you don't know how to make the electric circuits. Once you have the materials, place them in the crafting grid like so. As you can see, that gives us our two electric circuits. Next, we need to make an energy crystal. Again, if you don't know how to make this, you can reference the crafting grid over in the left hand corner. And as you can see, that gives us our energy crystal. <coughs> I apologize for that. Next up, we need to make the Lapertron Crystal. Again, you can reference the crafting grid over in the left-hand corner if you need to. And as you can see, that gives us our Lapertron Crystal. So the next item we're going to need to craft now are rubber boots. For this part of the tutorial, you'll need 12 pieces of rubble, rubber and 2 pieces of wool. Once you have them, place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our two pair of rubber boots. Alright, next up we're going to need to make our iridium plates. You're going to need 8 advanced alloy, 56 UU matter, and 2 diamonds for this part of the tutorial. If you don't remember how to make advanced alloy, I'll show you real quick here. Place refined iron in the top of the crafting grid. Bronze in the middle half and tin on the lower half to give you 2 mixed metal ingots. Again, you'll have to run down to your compressor, stick it in the compressor. Allow that to run its course and it will give you advanced alloy. Anyways, we need to take this UU matter and convert it into iridium ore. I apologize for the pause there. Kind of had a brain fart. Anyways, that'll give us our eight pieces of iridium ore. Next up, we need to craft the actual iridium plates. We do that by placing the materials in the crafting grid like so. Fill in the remaining slots with the iridium ore. And as you can see, that gives us our two iridium plates. Alright, so now that we got all our materials together that we crafted in this video, we're ready to go and actually craft up the quantum suit boots. You can reference the crafting grid over here in the left-hand corner if you need to. For this part of the tutorial, we'll need our nano suit boots, two iridium plates, two sets of rubber boots, and a Lepertron crystal. Once you have those materials, place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our quantum suit boots. Again, with all the other quantum suit material, we need to run down here, stick this in our MFSU, take a quick pause, I'll let that charge up, and then we'll go over exactly what that does. Alright, well, it's taken a while to fill up. I decided I'd talk while it continues to fill. Anyways, the quantum suit boots, they allow us to jump higher. I'm not sure exactly on how much higher. I'll go out on the limb and say maybe 5 to 10 times higher. Anyways, these are almost charged. The other positive of having these is... Um, it negates all the falling damage, meaning you take no fall damage whatsoever, which is real nice in my opinion. Um, it allows you to use the jetpack, which we haven't went over yet, and we'll probably craft the jetpack up here in a future video. But now that that's fully charged, we'll run out here. I think we'll even attempt to demonstrate the whole creeper thing again, where I took the creeper blast to the face and I took damage. We should not take any damage now that we have a full quantum suit. As you can see, we actually did not take any damage this time now that we have the full armor. You're pretty much indestructible at this point. Anyways, um, to jump super high, you have to hold the left control or whatever you put the leggings to so that you can run super fast. While holding left control, we hit the space bar. As you can see, we jump rather high. Now, if you combine this with the sprint, you can cover distances rather fast. I will go ahead and let him blow up. Think real quick here. I'll take a quick pause. I'll jump in my nether portal and I'll show you guys just how much, um, like the lava gives no damage really. You're pretty much indestructible at this point. Actually, I won't pause the video. We'll just go in the portal. Should load up pretty fast. Um, we'll try to find a pretty shallow lava pool so that, um, we'll be able to pull ourselves out and hopefully not die. Um, let's see if I can find one here. I actually need to set a waypoint or I'll probably get lost. I tend to get lost a lot in Minecraft. If you don't know how to set a waypoint, you just hit the period key. Then click add. 
then type in the name you want and click OK back exit and as you can see it leaves that little marker there anyways now with that set we'll run down here and find the shallow lava pool apologize for the lag the nether is always laggy for me anyways we'll go ahead and jump in this lava as you can see we're not taking any damage whatsoever even though we're completely on fire like I said the quantum suit makes you pretty much indestructible we'll go over here and even piss off a couple of these zombie pigmen just to demonstrate and as you can see they're not doing any damage whatsoever but that wraps this video up I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave them below if you like the video be sure to leave it a like like I said that's all I got this has been too cold and I'm out peace